of all, my name's John Gale, and I'm the supportive and assistive lead for the Ascend programme. I don't really like saying Ascend because I can never understand exactly what they mean. So this is the Aspirant Cancer Career and Education Development Programme, which basically means the cancer workforce. Um, how can we support the workforce? And what is the aim of today? Well, the aim is quite simple. It's to bring people together to celebrate the work that's gone on over the last 18 months to really bring the supportive and assistive workforce together. It's to engage so you have the chance to meet people in real life and to have a nice day out of the office. Enjoy yourselves. Let your hair down. Um, have a chat to people. Like I've just said to somebody there, I went hard. I went for a peppermint tea first. So enjoy yourselves. You're going to hear for some fantastic speakers today. And this is what it's all about. It's about connecting people, bringing the people in the right place at the right time to make a positive change. But on more of a serious note, why am I stood here today? Um, now, in the year 2000, I sadly lost my mum to cancer. And as a 17-year-old boy going into Wirral Hospital, which is just over uh, the Mersey, uh, and the Clatterbridge Cancer Centre, I remembered the compassionate care that my mum had. The care my mum received and the questions that were asked to her, what matters to you? And what mattered to her was for her to be at home with her two boys and her dog and to have her end of life care at home. Now, because I've remembered that, I remember when my mum sadly passed away at, at the hospice on the corner of the hospital site. I stood there as a 17 year old lad and said to myself, I'm going to be back here one day and I'm going to make a positive change. And remembering that, how each and every one of the workforce supported me and my family, I really wanted to make a difference. So, fast forward, and I joined the Cancer Alliance in 2017, just as it was born. And I stood in the exact place where I walked out of that hospice when my mum sadly died. And I knew to myself, I've made it. I've got the chance now to grab it by both hands and really make a positive change for the workforce and for the patients that we look after and support each day in cancer services. But also, why am I so passionate about the support of an assistive workforce? Well, my journey began as a support worker. Fast forward five years after my mum had sadly passed away, I worked as a support worker for people with learning disabilities and autism. And I didn't know where to go, what career pathway I could go on, what education and training I could access, and where would I go and what could I do. So I had to create that pathway myself. And standing here in this fantastic city, I ended my social work career in 2017 as the uh, team manager for the Learning Disability Service right here in the city, making a positive change in adult social care. But I saw an advert the Cancer Alliance Macmillan Cancer Support at the Clatterbridge Cancer Centre. This was my calling and I knew that's where I was going to go. So I applied and I got the job. I didn't have a clue what I was doing. I'd never worked in cancer services before. I'd never worked in the NHS before. But people in the audience today, such as Diane Dearden and Claire Byrne and others along the way, inspirational leaders I could watch and I could follow and I could learn the tricks of the trade of working across a really complex system. And standing here today, I've also met another person that I really focused in on when I was going for this workforce project. And that was June Davis, who is the lead allied health professional and nursing advisor at Macmillan. I'd watched the work that June had done in Wessex Cancer Alliance, and it was absolutely fantastic. And I've managed to link in with quite a few members of that team over the last couple of years. It's innovative, it's forward thinking, and it's driving workforce transformation, which is brilliant. So I would like everybody just to put their hands together and welcome on stage, June Davis.